What is the Christian response to the law of attraction, part 3? The secret emphasizes on the importance of material possessions, on the car, the house, on banks, account, wealth, etc., and the importance of satisfying ego desires in order to acquire the desired happiness. Here, we wonder whether happiness is in the acquisition of materials. True happiness has not another source such as our relationship with God and others. Does avoiding negative people bring us happiness? Doesn't this behavior contradict Christian love and Bible values? Does thinking positively about things really bring them to us? Without any doubt, this alleged law is in contradiction with the evangelical values that call for kindness, charity, love, forgiveness, and an opening for the self toward the others. In reality, true happiness has nothing to do with matter, but with the content of the heart and inner fulfillment. That is, whether or not love exists, with or without an existential relationship to the Creator. Happiness has to do with love and being loved, with our level of self-conviction and our outlook on life and others. It has a relationship with the happiness of others because man is a relational and social creature and he is created in the image and likeness of God and his vocation is the perfection of love. The secret has many moral and behavioral loopholes because it teaches self-centeredness and selfishness, greed, isolation, the acquisition of materialism and the fulfillment of personal desires, the exploitation of others, the personal interest at the expense of the public interest, the escape from weak and sick people, and the interest in pleasure. The secret claims that the so-called law of attraction reach us from different religions, and that its teachings are compatible with all religions and philosophies, just as all religions and philosophies are of the same origin. This is a claim of esoteric sciences rooted in Hinduism teachings, which speak of one basic tradition from which all religions have emerged. This is also the claims of the New Age movement, which wants to abolish religions, especially Christianity, to spread their new cosmic religion, the worship of the universe and the deification of man. Moreover, the Book of the Secret considers that the source of the law of attraction is the Bible, so it cites verses from it, for example from Matthew chapter 21 verse 22 and Matthew chapter 11 verse 24. If a person is able to create what he wants with his subconscious, then he does not need God. Faith and prayer in Christianity is not a means to achieve the will of man and to satisfy his needs and passions. And it is not a technique, but a personal relationship with the Holy Trinity, with a Heavenly Father who loved the world and gave His only Son for the sake of the salvation of the world. The Bible invites us, on the contrary, not to pay attention to material matters, but to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first, and the rest should be added to us. Jesus says, Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you, and point to the importance of prayer and spiritual awakening. The secret teaches that sin does not exist since man is God, but 
repentance is necessary for a person's salvation and obedience to commandments is the door to faith in Jesus Christ. And the answered prayer is that which is according to God's will to sanctify us. Thank you.